All right, guys, Markboy316 here with another video about the watch NXT uh, Heatwave 2024. Should be a good show. Uh, but I have a kind of food uh, review, or I guess drink review. And uh, here it is it's Dr. Pepper, strawberry, and cream. Right there. So, oh, my. Nice. Open this. Ooh. Oh yeah, you smell the strawberry and cream. Oh yeah, Dr. Pepper. That's good stuff. But yeah. Oh, right off the riff, you, you, you get cream and strawberry. Good stuff. Highly recommend. If you have it where you live, go get it. Great stuff. But yeah, it's very good. Last night was uh, WWE Money in the Bank. I thought it was a good show. Sami Zayn beating Braun, Braun Breaker. I had that one wrong. Uh, Sami Zayn gets the win. I thought Braun was going to take it. Uh, then we have uh, the men's Money in the Bank. Drew McIntyre had that right. And he cashed it in, made it a triple threat. I like the fact CM Punk now screwed over both, ba both men. Screwed over... Drew and screwed over Seth because he can no longer challenge for the world title as long as Priest is champion. Fantastic stuff. And uh, the women's money in the bank, best match on the card. That was great. Fantastic stuff. Tiffy, uh, Tiffy D. Stroud and money in the bank. Great stuff. Uh, had that correct too. Uh, the bloodline gets the win uh, over the Kevin Owens, Randy Orton, and Cody Rhodes with solo pinning. Uh, Cody Rhodes, uh, Jacob Fatu, star of the match, looked great, strong in in, in the match, and uh, Damian Priest and Seth was good, turned into a triple, triple threat, like I said, the uh, Priest retaining after Punk beat up Drew, and uh, hits the big uh, Priest hits the big choke slam on Drew, South of Heaven, gets the win, and retains, so he stays with the Judgment Day. Seth can no longer challenge until he's as long as he's the champ. I have a feeling they'll do the one-on-one -on -one match with Drew and Punk at SummerSlam. And then down the line, maybe have Seth, Drew, and Punk and Triple Threat uh, Hell in a Cell Bad Blood. I don't know. Hopefully they do it right. But uh, pretty pretty cool stuff. And then DIY on SmackDown and Tag Autos. That was cool. Hopefully they defend the Tag Autos a lot. But yeah. Good. Uh pay-per-view I thought was a, a good match and then of course John Cena announcing his retirement door hopefully it's good hopefully he doesn't get like a title shot uh, in there anywhere I don't think he yes as much as Cena has done for the business I don't think he deserves a title shot should no, not be anywhere near a title match uh, because uh, he doesn't need a title obviously and this should just be like straight one-on-one -on -one matches with people he's had history with, like Punk, could be true because that was his childhood hero. Could have a match with Randy Orton because of their history, like anybody like that. So we'll see what happens. I think his last match will be at WrestleMania 25, but he's going all the way till December for his uh, last. Uh, it'll be his last WrestleMania, and I think he's looking at 30 to 40 dates. He said like to, to wrestle. So. On his entire 2025 he'll be on the debut for Netflix and stuff so uh, yeah just my thoughts on Money in the Bank and reviewing this uh, Dr. Pepper cream soda highly recommend thumbs up but yeah thank you guys for joining me I'll catch you guys in the next one